Hi, welcome back to the Salesforce video. Previously, we have seen how we can use a data loader with upsort operation. Now, how to make sure that the record inserted from the external database is not duplicated in Salesforce and how we will identify that the record exists in the database or not for the Salesforce. In this article, we will use a upsort operation of data loader again, but this time we will use it to create a relationship. So let's take an example of this contact. If you want to relate this contact with the parent account, you will need to have a 15 digit or 18 digit ID of the account record on the Salesforce. But let's say you are importing a data from external database and you don't know parent record ID for account. So same way we use the external ID on contact to identify that the account exists or not in Salesforce, we can use the same approach to create a relationship and instead of checking a uh, exact 15 digit or 18 digit ID of Salesforce, we can see the external ID of the parent record. So this is an account object and on account object, I have an external field known as account external ID. And if you see the contact records, these contact records does not have any account. So what I will do here, I will do here is like I will open my CSV file for the contact again. I will create a new column and the column name would be parent account ID. And in parent account ID, I will enter the account ID of external ID of the parent account. So if you see here again. I have ID only till uh, 13 so I would be just repeating it so here if you see I want to observe this contact and want to create a relationship with the parent record but if you see the parent record does not have 15 digit or 18 digit ID so let's see how we are gonna do here so this is the CSV file I would be using again I will go to the data loader I will use observe operation I will select contact I will use a CSV file of contact. Now the next screen will inform us that which field on the contact we should use to identify that the contact record exists or not in Salesforce. So I would be using a external ID field on contact record. Now the next wizard will tell us that these are the parent records. So on the parent, what field you want to use to create a relationship. So I'm saying to relate a contact with account use external id of account and if i open any sample account here let's say this account external id is 14 so this id will be used to create a relationship with contact instead of a 15 digit id so i will go back here i said external id go next i will uh, go on mapping and this is my csv file so This is SQL Server ID for contact. So on contact, I will go and I will match SQL Server ID. So this field will be used to identify the contact record exists in Salesforce or not. And then I use I have to use a parent account ID, and this is the parent account ID. So I would be using mapping like this that this column in CSV file should relate to accounts external ID field so I will be using only these two field so again this field is to use relate a contact and this field is used to relate a parent account then I will go ahead and let's try I'm saying yes if I see there is no error and if I go back on Salesforce and I, if I so if you see these are the existing contact record and this contact record does not have any relationship if I refresh it you can see all accounts are getting already related and the relation is not done with the help of uh, 15 digit ID it is done on the basis of external ID thank you very much for watching this uh, Please subscribe to this channel to see more videos of Salesforce on tips regarding Salesforce admin and developers.